All right, all right. We ready to work? Close. It's close. All right, we're going to start standing today. So go ahead and make your way to the top of your mat. Stand it up nice and tall. Let's see. Closing our eyes. Taking your hands down by your side. Rooting those feet down into the floor. Good. Just starting to settle. Settle into class. Settle into your body. Letting go of whatever wiggles we got going on. Letting go of whatever thoughts we're holding on to. Close those eyes. Stand up nice and tall. Good. Now take a deep breath. First breath of class. Blow it out your nose. Good. Sealing those lips in through the nose and out through the nose. Good. Now a lot of us are wiggling. Can we stay still even when our eyes are closed and we want to be challenged by that balance a little bit? Go with the flow. Feel all 10 of those toes spreading nice and wide. Feel all four corners of your feet rooting down into the floor if your feet had corners. Proud chest, roll those shoulders up and back. Open a little bit more space in the front of our body. Good, a little more height out the crown of our head. Good. Take one last breath here. And I want you to set your intention for class today. I want you to set your goal for today. How do you intend to show up? What do you intend to do as you go through the next 60 minutes? Good. Maybe that goal is just to be really mindful of what your body is actually doing as we go through these movements. Maybe it's to let go of that to-do list, homework, work, school, whatever you got going on, let it go. Stay nice and still, stand up tall. One last breath. Blink those eyes open. Take your arms up overhead. Reach, reach, reach. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Open those arms. Swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Nice flat back. Good. Exhale, bend those knees. Plant your hands. Let's step back to tabletop. Stacking those shoulders over our wrists. Good. And let's shift ourselves forward and back. So drop those knees if you're not dropped. There you go. And then just start to shift yourself forward and back, putting some weight into your fingertips, weight into the heels of your hands. Maybe those hips rest onto your heels and then come back forward. Good. You can tuck your toes or relax your toes. Choice is totally yours today. Good. For three, moving with your breath. Two. And one, keep yourself shifting forward, forward, forward. Bend your elbows. Take a little modified push-up on our knees here. Lower yourself down to the floor. Good. All the way down, chest collapse. Press into those hands. Upward facing dog. Straighten the arms. First time here. Take a big deep breath. Roll those shoulders up and back a little bit more. Find some space between the tops of your shoulders and your ears. So push through those hands. Proud through that chest. Tuck your toes under. First downward facing dog. Lift your hips. Good. Now pedal out those feet. Move around here. Check in. See how we're feeling. See what we're working with. Good. Look between your thumbs. Let's step, walk, or hop. Take it to the top of your mat. Inhale. Halfway lift. Nice flat back. Good. Exhale. Fold. Heel toe your feet a little bit wider this time. Let's take opposite elbow, opposite hand, and just rock side to side. Maybe a little bend in your knees to protect that low back or just to deepen that stretch in your low back here. Good. Hanging nice and heavy in the crown of our head. Good. And then take these elbows, maybe outside that right knee to the right, outside that left knee to the left, maybe a little figure eight shape, if you will. Good. And then put a bend in those knees, release the hands, take those arms all the way up overhead. Hands can sweep out to the side or out in front if you don't want to hit your neighbor. Exhale, hands to your chest. Good. Stand up nice and tall. Come up high on the balls of our feet. So lift our heels. Let's start to build a little bit of balance here. Really, really strong. Press those hands together. Elbows stay nice and wide. Chest is really active. Core is really active. Good. Drop those heels. Take those arms up overhead. 
Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, back to your tabletop or a full plank if you are ready. Step those feet back. Good. Shift yourself a little bit farther forward, whatever version you are in. Bend those elbows, slowly lower yourself down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Straighten those arms, pull that chest forward. Tuck your toes, down dog. Good. Shake it out, move, take a deep breath. Let's go again, a little quicker. Bend those knees, look between your hands. Let's step, walk, or maybe we hop to the top of our mat. Inhale, halfway lift and fold. Bend those knees, bring it up nice and strong as you rise. Exhale, hands to our chest. Good, deep breath in, high on those toes. Lift the heels. Ooh, there you go. Find a spot on the wall. Feel all five of those toes pressing down into the floor. Good. Deep breath in. Exhale, fold as we leave those hands hanging down nice and heavy. Good. Move around here. Maybe bend one knee, then the other. Bicycle out those hips. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back to your plank or your tabletop. Lower yourself down right into it this time. Bend those elbows. Take yourself down. Good, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, look between your thumbs, step, walk, or hop, top of your mats. Inhale, halfway, and fold. Bend those knees, bring it up, big, big rise. Inhale as you come up, hands to your chest. Good, now step to the back of your mat. Everybody has a wall or a window space. We're just gonna loosen up those hips a little bit. So taking one hand on the wall, I want you to be facing the wall, but watch me first. We're gonna take one hand on the wall and just tick tock right leg first from side to side. We're just gonna loosen up that hip, maybe 10 or so, and then switch directions or switch legs. And then we're gonna take it forward and back. So turning sideways, maybe forward and back, maybe it's a bent knee forward and back, just start to loosen up those hips. And then let's add in some circles. Maybe five one way, five the other way, switching sides. So on your own pace, go for it. Window, if you wanna spread out and take some wall space instead of window, just try to work in conjunction with your neighbor so we're not kicking each other. If you need to stagger or spread, go ahead and stagger and spread. But move some stuff around. Notice if you get any popping, any cracking. What do you feel while you're there? We wanna work on loose hips today. Good. Good, and then adjusting, moving around if you need to, spacing it out. Good. Now when you get to the circles, guys, don't just fly through the circles. With the circles, I want you to see how slow and controlled you can be here. Maybe move in thinking that knee as your highest point. Maybe it's a pencil on the end of your knee and we're drawing circles all the way around. Now, if you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, take your hand off that wall. Can you do these movements without that hand on the wall? What happens? Just pay attention and adjust. Good. Okay. Now, if ball players especially, you have other movements that you build into a hip mobility or a hip routine when you warm up pre-game, Go for it, add those in if you finished your reps with these. Good, I like the balance, really nice guys. And then once you're done, make your way back onto your mat, standing tall at the top. Good. Here we go, deep breath in, arms up overhead, reach. Exhale, fold. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to our first plank that we're gonna hold a little bit longer here. So set up that plank, high on the balls of our feet, heels lift, kneecaps engage, middle section, super, super strong. Lift a little more here, a little more here, a little more. Press, 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 press. Yeah, that's your plank, hold. Good. Jake, squeeze that belly a little bit tighter. There you go, more here, more here. Yes, good. Take a deep breath in. Unplug your right hand, touch your left shoulder. Good, switch, plug in the right, take it to the left. 
Good. Keep going. Crisscross. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Downward facing dog. Lift your hips. Here we go. Deep breath in. Take that right leg up. Reach, reach, reach. Now we're going to shift forward, bringing that right knee to our right wrist. So let it dangle low. Good. Inhale. Take it up and back. Right knee, right elbow, a little bit higher. We're going to climb a ladder today. Take it up and back. Right knee, try to get it higher than your elbow. Maybe your tricep, high as you can. Take it all the way up and back. Look between your thumbs. Step that right foot to the top of your mat. We're going to stand tall, bringing that left knee to our chest, taking those arms up overhead. Good. So on that transition, guys, each time we do it, think of firming up from the middle to help us stand up nice and controlled. Good. Big deep breath. Extend that left leg out. Hold, balance. Now try not to round in that upper back. Try to stand tall. Good. We're going to take that left foot. Sweep it back behind us. Plug in those hands. Step back to our push-up. If you want more today, hover that right leg. Keep it hovering. Lower yourself down. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Big deep breath. Big deep stretch. Tuck those toes downward facing. Good. Inhale, left leg lifts. Reach, reach, reach. Left knee, left wrist. Nice and low. Use that right leg here. Is your right leg asleep? Can you activate it? Take it up and back. Left knee, left wrist. Good. Oh, sorry, knee. Yeah, her elbow. <laughs> there we go. A little higher. One more time. Get it higher than the elbow. Hold. Take it up and back. Now we're going to transition to standing. So strong from the middle. Press into that left foot. Pull that right knee up and in. Good. Big deep breath. Extend that right leg out. Flex that foot, point the toe, your choice, but stay active. Step back, take your runner's lunge to your plank, lower it down, left leg hovers if you want more today. Good. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good. Now unplug your hands, walk them back to your feet. We're gonna sit in a catcher squat at the back of our mat. So turn those toes out. Heels in, elbows into your knees. Good. So move around a little bit here. Use those elbows to push those knees open. Also use it to help open up the chest. Now wiggle out those hips, move around. See if you can work those heels down to the ground. So if your heels aren't touching, can you take your feet a little bit wider? Maybe toes in line with the edge of your mat. Good. Everybody take those hands down to the floor. I want you to press your knees onto those elbows, not lifting up, no crow just yet, just opening those hips. Good, there you go, man. Good, just settling into those inner thighs. Take a deep breath here. And then press yourself back, standing up nice and tall. Press through those heels, inhale as you rise. Turn those toes forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk it back out, let's take our plank. Good. Deep breath in, right leg lifts, downward facing dog. Shift those hips up and back. Here we go, right knee, right wrist. Give it a tap. Take it up to the elbow, a little higher. Take it up, little higher. Last one, reach it all the way up and back, standing tall, step that right foot forward, knee to chest. Good. Awesome, you guys. Shoot that right, or excuse me, left leg out in front. Now let's find our warrior three. So take that left foot back. Hands can be at your chest. So I'm going to fly mine back today. Can we balance? If you need a block, use that block. You guys, don't be afraid. If the balance isn't there, use that prop. Good. Now we're going to bend that right knee. Step that left foot back, maybe two feet, not very far. We're going to find a funky pyramid today. So that left heel is gonna press into the floor, right leg is gonna straighten. We're shifting back towards the back of our mat. Can you pull those toes to your face, but reach your hands out in front? Big deep breath, good. A duck stretch, okay. Let's fly those arms back, go back to our warrior three. Lift that left leg, good. Back to your funky pyramid, step it back. Maybe challenge that balance, maybe you can come a little bit higher on that left heel. Maybe that heel can lift up off of the floor. Put the weight into the ball of your feet. Good. Warrior three, re-bend. One last time. Step it back. Funky pyramid. Good. 
Warrior three. Good, you guys. Take your hands down to the floor, standing split. Lift that left leg up as high as you can. Use those blocks if you need them. Good. Big deep breath. Exhale, bend that right knee, step back to your plank. Hover that right leg if you want more. Lower yourself down, nice and strong. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog, left leg lifts. Let's go right into it, reach. Left knee, left wrist, shift it forward. Good, take it up and back. Elbow, up and back, and higher. Maybe it's still the elbow, that's okay. Step it forward, balancing, pull that right knee into your chest, standing tall. Good, flex that foot, really strong, really active. Good, warrior three, shift that right leg back, find your balance point. Good, hover, use that block. Good job, back row. Good, find your funky pyramid. So step that right foot back just a couple feet. Bend that right knee, straighten that left. Pull those toes towards your face. Good, re-bend, warrior three. Right leg lifts. Good. Can you activate that right side of your butt, guys? Right side, really strong in those muscles. Funky pyramid, step it back. Reach those fingers forward, big deep reach. Sit those hips back, really long in that left leg. One more time, warrior three. Good, standing split, take your hands down to the floor, take that right leg up. Good, one more breath here. And then go ahead and bend that left knee, step back to your plank, lower yourself down. Left leg can hover if you want a little more. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good. Shift back forward to your plank and hold. Good. Can you shift those shoulders a little farther over your fingertips? Bring that nose over the edge of your mat as far as you can. Get as high on your toes as you can. Good, trust yourself, trust. Good, now let's unplug our hands, walk our hands back to our feet, sit in your catcher squats. Good. So each time we come to this catcher squat, work on getting those heels down if you can. So spread those feet wide. Don't be afraid to take those toes in line with the corners of your mat. Good. Can you roll those shoulders up and back a little bit? Good, take those feet wider, man. Can you spread them out? There you go. Try to sit those hips down, good. Now, you can take those elbows into the knees, hands to the floor, and open those hips up, just like we did, just leaning the knees onto the elbows. If you wanna lift off today and find crow, which is our arm balance, you can. Those elbows are gonna lock in, hands are gonna stay on the ground. You're gonna shift yourself forward, lifting those hips. Maybe it's one foot that picks up, and you come back in. Maybe it's two feet that can pick up and we can balance. So play around a little bit here. If you haven't tried it and you're just staring at me, like what is she talking about? Give it a try, nice able. There you go. Good. If you fall, you fall. What's the worst that's gonna happen? How far off the ground are you really? Falling is not a bad thing in here, you guys. Falling means that you're trying. Good, falling means you're trying. There you go. Yes. You got it. Good. Good. It's too slippery. It's the sweaty elbows. Good. Well, each time, oh, hit. There you go. There you go. It was good, man. I like the effort. All right. Here we go. Press into those heels. Standing tall. Back of your mat. Take those arms up. Good. Press into those heels. Standing tall. There you go. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk it back out to your plank. Good, you guys. Good. Bend those elbows, lower yourself down through your push up, up dog, down dog. Good. Meet me in that down dog and take that right leg up. Big deep breath in. Good. Shifting forward to your wrist. Slow and controlled here is better than quick, guys. Take it to your elbow, shifting forward. Can you find that pause? Touch the elbow and hold for just a second. And then take it above the elbow. Right leg all the way up. Step it forward, left knee to chest, standing tall. Good, now when we stand tall, pick a spot on the floor. Maybe it's in front of us. Maybe that helps us stay a little bit more balanced. Extend that foot out. Good, warrior three, sweep it back behind you. Maybe those hands reach back, big deep breath. Try to flatten out that back, stronger in the middle. Funky pyramid, step it back. Try not to just fall back. Can we move controlled? Good, sit those hips back. Really open up those outer hips. 
Three bend, find your warrior three. Yes, good. Funky pyramid, take it back. Good, each time you come here, you can see if you can find a little bit more depth, a little bit more stretch, warrior three. Good. And funky pyramid, step it back. Good. Standing split, rebend that front knee, hands down to the floor, take that left leg up. Reach, reach, reach. Good. Now we're gonna step back to a high lunge. So bend that right knee, step that left foot back. I want those feet on railroad tracks though. So spread them a little bit wider on your mat. Try not to be on a tight rope. Take up some space here. Take those arms up overhead, deep, deep breath. Good. Put a bend in that front knee, lift that back heel. So take that back foot back a little bit farther, lift that heel. Goal post your arms, so cactus your arms. Good, we're dropping that left knee to the floor and bringing it back up as we reach those hands up overhead, straighten both legs. Good, here we go. Drop it down for 10, nine, good. Eight, try not to slam that knee on the floor. Can you barely hover it above or just tap it? Good, we've got five, four, three, two. Try to keep that balance from the middle. Last one, good. Reaching straight up. Keep those arms up, re-bend the front knee. Come back to that high lunge. Good, now listen up. We're gonna twist to your right. So left hand is gonna reach in front, right hand is gonna reach behind. This row, you're facing the back. This row, you're facing the front. Big deep breath here. Good, hold. Now can you pull that right hip back, swivel that left hip forward. Keep that left heel lifting, really, really strong. Take your right hand to the back of your left leg and reverse, so reach that left hand up behind you, looking for a stretch in that lower part of our belly on the left side. Can you look down at your left foot back behind you or the floor back behind you to the right? Woo, challenge that balance. Good. Cartwheel those hands down to the floor, step back to your plank or your three-legged plank. If you wanna add on, bend those elbows, take yourself down. Good. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down. Really nice, guys. Take a deep breath here, pedal it out. Reset. Notice how maybe one leg feels a little bit different. Take a deep breath in, left leg lifts. Reach to your wrist, shifting forward. Take it up to your elbow. Pause though, pause. Good, take it up. Above that elbow, if you can get it there, lift, lift, lift. Good, take it all the way up and then step that left foot forward, right knee to chest. Good, there you go. Now I want you to think of as if I was gonna come by and punch you in the stomach, what would we do? We'd automatically find that little tuck. That's our engagement to help that balance. So, so strong, take that right leg out. Good, fly it back behind you, warrior three. Good, funky pyramid, step it back. Maybe those hands reach forward again. Good, active in the arms. Just because we're focused on the legs doesn't mean those arms go to sleep. Warrior three, shift it forward. There you go. Good, just adjust if you fall, come right back into it. Funky pyramid, step it back. Good, pull those toes up towards your face as much as you can. Notice what happens when those toes are down compared to when they're up. One more time, warrior three. Good, and then take your standing split, hands to the floor, get that right leg up as high as you can. If it still looks like warrior three, totally okay, but work on straightening that leg as much as you can. So can you reach out through that heel or out through the toes? Good. Bend that left knee, step back to our high lunge on those railroad tracks. Spread those feet, really good, firm foundation here. Good, Jake, take the knee, rotate it out. There you go, bless you, man. Good, here we go. Arms up overhead, deep breath in. Goal post those arms, cactus those arms. Right knee drops this time. Lower it down and then reach and straighten for 10, nine, eight, seven. Trying to drop straight down, guys. Not too far forward or too far back. Straight down. I lost count. Let's go for three, two, and one. Bring it back up. Rebend that front knee. Twist right hand in front, left hand behind. So we're twisting over that bent knee. So my left, you guys are facing this way. Good. Big deep breath. Can you look back at your left thumbnail this time? Good, hold, challenge that balance. Where do we got to engage to keep this shape? Squeeze from that middle, just like that little punch we talked about. 
Can you get a little bit lower? Bend that front knee a little bit deeper. Good. Reverse. Left hand to the back of your right leg. Right hand reaches back. Can you look down over that left shoulder at the floor? So, so strong, guys. Inner hips working like crazy. Good. Cartwheel those hands down to the floor. Step back to your plank. Lower yourself down. Hover that leg if you want a little bit more. Good. Up dog. Meet me in down dog. Beautiful work, you guys. Awesome. Shift forward. Find your plank. Good. Shift that nose a little bit farther over the edge of your mat. Come a little higher on those toes. Maybe just your toes touch. Maybe the ball of your feet. Don't even touch. Get nice and high. Good. Shift it back. Find your catcher squat at the back of your mat. Unplug. Take those feet wide. Good. We've been here a couple times now. How can we find a little bit more space? So maybe those heels start to work down a little bit more. Good. Maybe we work on that arm balance. Maybe you want to add in a twist here. So maybe that left hand goes down, right hand works up, vice versa. Maybe like Coach Chris has here, you can take one hand to your low back, take that same elbow in front, get a little bit of a shoulder stretch. If it feels okay, maybe you can do both at the same time. Or maybe you switch. But think about those knees still staying open nice and wide. Good. Good. Taking deep breaths. Good. You all right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Big deep inhale. Release the arms if you're in an arm option. If you're in the arm balance, come on back down. Press into those heels. Stand up nice and tall. Sweep those arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to our chest. Good. If you need a drink of water, go ahead and grab it. And then meet me right back here. We got about 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, bring it back. Here we go. Here we go, guys. So standing tall at the top of our mat. Everybody feeling okay? Yeah. So before we move, I want you to take a couple more of those little movements that we did in the beginning, okay? I want you to notice maybe the hips start to feel a little bit looser. Maybe our balance starts to feel a little bit better as we kick that foot forward and back, side to side. I want you to notice progression. There's a method to why we're doing what we're doing in here. I want you to be able to feel it and pay attention to that as we go through. When you are ready and you feel like you're ready to move on, Staying tall at the top of our mat. Take those arms up and find a forward fold. So hanging nice and heavy at your own pace. Let's take a forward fold, Charles. Good. Hanging heavy, guys. All right. Here we go. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Step back. Downward facing dog. Take that right leg up to the sky. Good. Shifting forward to your wrist. Give it a little tap. Take it up and back. Take it to your elbow and freeze. Hold to your elbow. Hold, hold, hold. Take it up and back. Above that elbow or back to the elbow if you can't get it up there. Freeze for three, two, one. Take it up and back. Step it forward. Bring that left knee to your chest. Good. So try to get out of that habit of just flying through those. Take a deep breath. Extend that leg out. And then find your warrior three. Fly that left leg back. Balance should be getting a little bit stronger here, or at least you should feel like you got a little bit more control. If you're still struggling, grab that block. Find your funky pyramid. Step it back. Reach those arms forward. Good. And keep that funky pyramid on railroad tracks too, guys. Some of us are starting to crisscross those ankles. Good. Rebend, warrior three. Good. Fly. Beautiful. Funky pyramid. Step it back. Good. Reset. Maybe think flat back here in our funky pyramid. So can you roll those shoulders back, tabletop back? There you go. Warrior three, last time. Beautiful. Good. Standing split. Hands to the floor. Left leg reaches. Good. When you're ready, step back to your high lunge. Arms up overhead. 
Big deep breath, lift that back heel, set it up really strong in that foundation first. Right foot in front, there you go. Goal post those arms, here we go. Drop that left knee for 10. Reach and get tall, nine, eight, seven, easy on that back knee. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's twist. Left hand in front, right hand behind. So this row you are facing to the back. Good, now see how far you can swivel those hips, guys. Pull that right hip back, push that left hip forward. How far can you reach your arms away from one another here? And reverse, so take that right hand to the back of our left leg, really stretch out that front side of our body. Good, big deep breath. Come back to that twist. Good, come back to that twist. Left hand in front, right hand behind. Good, big deep breath. Now I want you to take your left elbow and we're gonna connect it outside that right knee. Right hand is gonna come on top of your left, finding this little prayer twist here. So left elbow to your right knee. Switch your right, right leg is right, right leg is right. Switch your leg, switch your arms. There you go, so crisscross, good. Take a big deep breath here, hold. Get a little bit lower, soften those hips just a little bit more. And then open the arms. Elbow stays connected to the knee, but open the arms. Good. Big deep breath. Now we're going to find warrior two really slow. So press into those feet. Reach that left hand in front. Cartwheel those arms open. Spin that left heel down. Right away into our reverse. Left hand down to the back of our mat. Right hand reaches up. Good. Reach, reach, reach. Bend that front knee nice and deep, guys. Can you keep it reaching towards the front of the room? Good. Hold, cartwheel those hands to the floor, step back to our plank, lower ourselves down. Inhale up, exhale down. Unplug those hands, walk them back to your feet. Sit in that catcher squat. Good. Take a big deep breath. We're going to start to get a little bit deeper into those hips here. So options that I've given you are totally okay. Resting into the knees. Maybe though, we can start to reach those fingers out and drop internal rotation to the center of our body, right knee in and then left knee in. Working on whether you feel cracking, if it's hard, if it's popping, does it just slam into the floor? Can you use your core to help keep that nice and strong, nice and engaged? Good, and if it doesn't work, just stay with that catcher squat. Good, we've got five. Four, three, two, nice head. Last one, bring it back to your catcher squat. Good, unplug, walking it back to the front of your mat. Take your plank, lower yourself down through your push up, up dog, down dog. Good, take those hips nice and high, reaching up to the ceiling, big deep breath. Good, right leg lifts to your wrist, here we go. Shifting forward, hold at that wrist. Hold, 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 get a low, freeze. Three, two, one. I did the right side, guys, I'm sorry. Left, good, good call, good call. Take the left leg up, thank you. Left leg up, shifting forward to your wrist. Good, hold, take it up to your elbow. Hold, take it up, good, a little bit higher. How high can you get it up there, hold. Use that belly, pull it up and in, take it all the way up and step it forward. Good. Good. Take that right knee to your chest and then extend that right leg out. Thank you guys. Here we go, get a little bit taller here. Can we find this transition to warrior three a little bit slower, a little bit stronger, a little bit more gauged in the legs? Fly those arms back. Good. Get that back foot a little bit higher. Can you get it the height of your butt? Reach, reach, reach. Funky pyramid, step it back. Good. Pull those left toes up towards the face. Awesome. Rebend, warrior three. Good. Step it back, funky pyramid. Good. Yeah. Bring it back up, warrior three. Hold. And then find your standing split when you're ready. When you feel control, take those hands down. Good. Awesome, guys. 
Step it back, high lunge. Bend that left knee to help you step back. Set up that high lunge, goal post our arms. Now take this high lunge a little bit longer. So can you spread those feet from the front to the back, staying within control, staying within your balance points. Good. Drop that back knee. Here we go for 10. Reach, reach, reach. Get tall. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to twist right hand in front, left hand behind. Reach it back. Swivel those hips. Sink a little bit lower. Bend that left knee a little bit deeper. Reverse. So take that left hand to the back of the right leg. Right hand reaches up and over. Good. Now come back to that twist. Right hand in front, left hand behind. Take that right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Left hand stacks on top. Good. Sink a little bit lower in your hips. Open the hand. So right hand just goes down. Elbow and knees stay connected. Hold. Good. We're going to find warrior two. So lifting that upper half, cartwheeling those arms open, left hand in front. Beautiful. Now, warrior two, bring me those left knees, left toes pointing towards the center. Right toes pointing out to the right side of your mat. Good. Rotate this knee a little bit further open. Yeah, there you go. All of you guys back here. Good. Bend that front knee a little bit deeper. Reverse your warrior. Right hand down. Left hand reaches back. Really long side body stretch here. Good. Cartwheel those hands down to the floor. Step back to your plank. Take your vinyasa. So push up, up dog, down dog. Good. Take those shoulders away from your ears, Jake. There you go. Press, press, press. Good. Downward facing dog. All right. Right side. Here we go for real this time. Deep breath in. Take that right leg up. Reach, reach, reach. To your wrist. Hold. Good. Take it up. To your elbow. Freeze. Take it up. Good. A little higher. Good. Take it up and back. Step it forward. Balance, extend that left leg out in front. Good, you guys. Reach, reach, reach. Good. Warrior three, when you're balanced, tick tock it back. Good. Funky pyramid, deep breath in. Exhale, warrior three. Good. Deep breath in. Funky pyramid. Good. One more time in your warrior three. And then finding your standing split. Once you find that balance point, find the warrior three first before you drop that head. Good. One last breath. And then step back to your high lunge. Goal post those arms. Let's knock these out. Here we go. We've got 10. Bend that back knee. Drop it down for 10. Nine. Drive up and out of that right heel, guys. Eight. Good. Seven. Six. Five, four, good, looking good, man. Three, there you go. Two, and one. Coming back, let's twist it out. Left hand in front, right hand behind. Good. Get a little bit lower in your lunge, a little bit deeper. Good. Switch your hands. There you go. Right hand down, left hand reaches back. Take it to the back of your left leg. Good. Connect that left elbow to your right knee. Take those little prayer hands here. Sink those hips low. And then open the hands. Open the arms. Deep breath in. Warrior two. Cartwheel those hands open. Good. Reverse your warrior. Left hand down. Right hand up. Good. Big deep breath. Back to your warrior two. Now we're going to take a side lunge into the left leg. So straightening the right leg. Sit to the back of your mat. Right toes. Pull up towards the ceiling. Hands can come down or hands can balance. Whatever you're working on, whatever you're comfortable on, but I want those right toes super active. Good. Now press into the hands and maybe take it the other direction. Let's just spider crawl it over and switch. Left toes stay active. Good. Maybe we can go back to the other side without using our hands. So maybe we crisscross at the wrists and push those walls away. Good, one more time to the right. Crisscross and push. Set it up nice and strong. Take that right hand to the floor inside that right knee. Reach that left hand up. Good. Now we're going to thread the needle. So take that left hand underneath the right elbow, underneath the right armpit. Reach it as far as you can. And then take it back up for three. Thread it under. Four, two. Reach. 
Last one, thread it under, and then take that left hand back up. One more breath, plug that left hand back in. Now listen close, push into your hands, and we're gonna find a runner's lunge at the front of our mat. So press into those hands, swivel everything back to the center. Right hand is gonna twist up to the sky, left hand stays down, easy twist. Big deep breath here, good. Frame out that front foot, so drop that right hand down. Straighten those legs as much as you can. Let's find this long pyramid pose here. Block is awesome. Pull that right toes towards your face. Good. Take a deep breath. And then re-bend that front knee. Let's find a low lunge. Drop that left knee down. Relax those toes. Take the arms up overhead. Good. Sink those hips down and forward. If you want to add on some shoulders, you can interlace those hands behind you. Maybe that fist rests on your low back. Hands can stay at your hips. You've got side bends here. Good. Whatever feels right. And then when you're ready, let's take a lizard lunge. So take those hands inside that right foot. Open that right knee. Open that right hip. So you can add on here by taking that right hand, pushing that right knee open a little bit farther. You can come onto your forearms and do that same thing, left forearm down. Just think about opening that outer right side of your hip. And feel free to move here, feel free to wiggle. Good. Taking one more breath and then make your way back up onto your hands. Close that right knee, close that right foot. Take that right hand outside, so frame them out. And then I want you to heel toe. We're gonna find pigeon, that right foot, over back behind your left wrist, underneath that left elbow. So I want that right knee behind your right wrist. The right foot is gonna be under that left elbow, left shoulder. See if you can square the hips, still pointing forward, sitting up nice and tall here. Blocks under your hands or in front are really, really nice. And then try to stay up tall, sinking that left foot, sliding it back if you need a little bit more space. Yeah, you can go on your forearms. If you feel comfortable here and you're not just collapsed on one side, you can take this a little bit deeper and work down onto your forearms. Maybe you work those hands all the way out or out to the side. Maybe the hands rest on your low back. Lots of options. But if you can't take a full deep breath, don't take it any further. Your breath is your indication of where your flexibility is and where your control is. If you can't breathe, back off just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna grab those hips, Jordan, okay? Yeah, so see if you can stay more squared. You too, Chloe, see if you can square that left hip down towards the floor, yeah. Good, and then if you wanted to stay up, you don't have to fold, okay? There you go, good. We'll take three more big breaths here, good. Let's see if you can get that hip squared just a little bit. There you go. Take this foot a little bit stronger. There you go. Good. Take one more breath. And then make your way back up onto your hands if you took a deeper option. Make your way up. Press into those hands. Now tuck those left toes under. I want you to knee toe that left foot in, putting the weight back into your hands. Just feel that little release. And then take that right leg all the way up and back into a three-legged dog. So tuck those left toes, reach that right leg up. Now when you get it up there, make some circles in that hip. Maybe bend that knee, open your hip, wiggle it out. Good. And then drop it down next to your left, downward facing dog. Good. Now shake it out. Notice the difference. What does it feel like? Is one side hotter? Is one side cooler? Just notice any kind of sensations. And then let's finish this strong. Let's take that left side. Reach that left leg up and back. Deep breath in. Shifting forward to our wrist, hold. Take it up and back. To our elbow, shift forward, tap and hold. Good, last time, all the way up. Get it above that elbow, guys, strong as you can. Take it up and back. Step it forward, knee to chest. Extend that right leg out. Good, get tall. Get controlled here, really strong from the core. Good, fly it back, warrior three. Good, balance. Step it back, funky pyramid. We should be pretty good at this transitions right now. How much control can you show? Warrior three, shifting forward. Pick it up. Funky pyramid, take it back. Good, 
Last time, warrior three, shifting forward. Standing split, hands to the floor, right foot reaches. Good, big deep breath here. High lunge when you're ready. Slow and controlled on the way back. Don't just crash. Good, arms up, goal post. Here we go, let's knock them out. Last 10, drop it down for 10. Nine, eight, good, seven. I don't wanna hear those knees crashing. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold, let's twist. Right hand in front, left hand behind. Good, right hand in front, left hand behind. Good, big deep breath. Bend those knees a little bit deeper, a little bit stronger in that lunge. Reverse it. So take that left hand to the back of your right leg. Right hand reaches up. Good. Come back to that twist. Right hand in front. Elbow to knee. Cross it over your body. So right elbow, left knee. Perfect. You guys are facing the front. Good. One more breath. Open the hands. Deep breath in. Warrior two. Open it up. Cartwheel everything open. Good. Reverse your warrior. Right hand down, left hand up. Big deep inhale. Back to your warrior two. Good. Side lunge into the right leg. So bending that right leg, straightening the left. Sit that right hip onto that right heel. Get low and then spin those left toes up towards the ceiling. See if you can open up that inner thigh. Maybe that right heel can work down towards the floor. Take a deep breath and switch using your hands if you need to. Don't if you don't. Good. Bending into that left knee. Okay, we'll back off if you need to, okay? Switch it out, guys. One more time, each side. Good. Into that right. Was that you, Jay Kraken? <laughs> Good. Take it into the left. Good. When you get into the left, guys, take that left hand down inside that left, excuse me, knee, and then twist that right arm up to the ceiling. Good. Thread that needle. So take the right hand under the left elbow, under the left armpit, and open it back up. First three. Good. Two, keep that right leg active. Don't let it go to sleep. Take it up. Last one, thread it under. Good, and reach, hold. Big deep breath. Now take that right hand back down, match your left, and then runner's lunge to the front. Turning to the front, good, low lunge. Good. Take a low lunge, take those arms up overhead. Deep breath in, sink those hips down and forward. Good, softening into those hips. Same options in your arms here. Maybe we interlace opposite thumb on top this time. Good. Maybe it's the side bends. Big deep breath. Good. Try to soften those hips down and forward. Good. And then when you've had enough of the low lunge, let's take that lizard. So hands inside that left foot. Open the left knee. Open the left hip. Good. And then if you want those options, you can come onto your forearms. Maybe we twist everything open. Good. Good. And then we're gonna take our pigeon. So when you're ready, we're gonna bring our way, heel toeing that left foot over to the right side of our mat. Good. Left knee behind your left wrist. Same idea here. Squaring those hips. Good. I'm going to help you out a little bit, man, okay? So take this knee behind here. Good. And then that foot goes right about here, somewhere in there. Good. And then just sink those hips back. So that back leg, if you want to knee toe that back foot, that's your gauge. Perfect. So that looks much, much better. Good. And then start to soften a little bit more, guys. Take a deep breath here. And notice what happens when you exhale it all the way out and pause at the bottom of that exhale. If you want to down onto the forearms, if you're not already there, or you want to change it up, go for it. But try to come back to a nice, long, deep breaths here in our pigeon. Try to soften. Slow your breathing down. Slow your heart rate down. Good, three more breaths here. 
And then we'll make our way up onto our hands. Follow your breath though, not my cues. Take your time when you are ready. Good. Now tuck those right toes under. Let's knee toe that right leg in a little bit. Put the weight back into the hands. Feel that little release. And then downward facing dog. Take that left leg all the way up and back. Make some circles. Wiggle it out. Good. And then drop it down, downward facing dog, when you're ready. Look between your hands. Step, walk, or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And fold. Good. Bend those knees. Sweep up. Rise up. Take it to the top. Hands to your chest. Good. Awesome work, you guys. So for the last couple of minutes, let's recover a little bit. Options can be to come back to the wall and find those same movements, maybe check it out, see where we got. Maybe we work on the little hip circles and balance. Option two, there are foam rollers. Because we did so much hips, I want you to stay in the hip today. If you don't know how to use a foam roller to roll out your butt or your hips or your low back, let me know and I'll show you. There's also softballs where we can do the same thing. I want you to put one under your hip if you're not using the foam roller. And we can teach you guys how to roll out using the balls. So take your pick, which object you'd like to use, and then we'll demonstrate both. One ball. 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 What's that ball? Yeah. Anybody else want a ball? Yeah? Charles? No? Catch it anyways. <laughs> Get back then. <laughs> Anybody else want a softball? Okay. All right, Coach Chris is gonna demo for us with the ball since he's already there. So when we get here, guys, if you're using the balls and you don't know how to use it, tuck it under one hip, okay? What do you got it under, your left? Put it under that left hip or the left hamstring. You're gonna bend that other knee, that way that's gonna be your weight bearing side. That's gonna be your guide leg. The other leg is just gonna be your absorption leg. We're gonna hold on to the ball or the foam roller, same idea. When you have one leg bent, that helps you control the amount of weight that's pressing down either onto that foam roller or onto the ball. So I want you to think about getting deep into the glutes, which are your butt muscles. If you find a spot where you go, oh God, what is that? Try to sit, try to settle. Just let that ball or that roller kind of become part of your body. And then remember that our hips and our hamstrings come all the way from the low, low back down into the low, low hamstrings. So think that whole length here as we wiggle. But feel free to be really intuitive here, meaning letting your body guide you back and forth. Maybe we roll onto the side and go forward and back. Just move around. It takes a little bit of time to figure out how to balance in your hands and use the hands to help you as opposed to working against you. And if this doesn't work at all or you want something different, there's also straps in the back. You can stretch out your hamstrings a little more. And if anybody needs help, just feel free to ask. And if you have enough of the legs and you want to get into the arms or you'd rather switch it, go for it. Good. There you go, Ted. Good, I like that back, man. Looks good. What are you doing, bud? Just stretching? Huh? You did the wall? Okay, if you want to do any of the other ones, go ahead, okay? Jake, you good? Yeah? Okay. We also did a lot of warrior three and balance stuff today, guys. You can stand up and put that softball under your foot and massage out the bottom of your foot, too. We don't think about all those little teeny tiny muscles that hold up all of our weight. So feel free to play around, calves, hamstrings, all the way up, fronts of our legs, backs of our legs.
and we'll go for about another minute or so. So take your time. If you need to switch sides or you haven't done that yet, make sure you balance it all out. And if you want to change whatever you have, change it. Get rid of it, stretch it out, move around. And then when you are finished with your props, just put them back where you found them and make your way back to your mat. Getting ready to settle into your Shavasana, our final resting pose. job today guys so if there's anything else that you want to stretch out any other positions you want to take go for it otherwise let's make our way down onto our backs let those feet just flop wide open hands down by your sides just let go we call this pose corpse pose because that's literally what we're looking for no movement just letting go good so take up as much space as you want within respect of your neighbor and close your eyes. Good. Just start to settle as the lights go out. Start to notice the sensations you're feeling in your body. Maybe the sweat dripping down your forehead. Maybe any shaking in your legs. Heat in your core. Maybe just the cool air across your face. Take a deep breath in, blow it all out, let it go. All of your work is done. I'm gonna leave you here just to chill out, just to recover and prepare for whatever comes next. Take a deep breath, let it go. I will invite you back when the time is right. Relax and enjoy.
when the time is right for you, start with a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Again, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Start to add some movement back into your body. Maybe fingers, toes, ankles, wrists, knees and elbows. If it feels all right, bend both knees, put your feet flat on the floor, maybe windshield wiper those knees from side to side. Maybe pull those knees in towards your chest, wrap your arms around your knees, give a little rock, a little shake. And then let's make our way up toward a comfortable seated position at the top of your mat. Really, really great work today, you guys. Take a deep breath in and take those arms up overhead. Thumbs to your chest. Good. Thank you for working out with me tonight. Thank you for your sweat. Thank you for your focus. It is always my honor, always my pleasure to take you through your workouts. Thumbs to your forehead if you want to participate. Namaste. Namaste.